Hey, hey, y'all. Um, 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 I was gonna say, I was gonna say, uh, um, okay, so, do you know how, right? <laughs> Thank you, Lord, I'm just realizing. Because I was sitting here, I ain't gonna lie, in frustration, right? Wondering, but knowing at the same time why I don't understand, right? The mind in, in, in which... narcissist right for one and people let's just say narcissists okay for now okay for now like it is so frustrating to us right those that have the holy spirit it is so frustrating okay to watch these people operate and move the way that they do right and think that we have no clue or that we are lacking period that we're lacking period right one two three on a timer and don't know what's going on around us even if we don't right the holy spirit in us does right so if we do miss something it's because of ourselves right it's because either we ignore the red flag right or how however else right and i'm watching this clip right uh well this video on youtube about this ex warlock right and he was you know exposing satan's secrets right and this goes back to when i was saying like narcissism right it is a demon it is a demon jezebel okay jezebel Okay, and in some cases, Ahab as well. And Ahab and Jezebel spirit, okay? And Leviathan as well, okay? But anyway, uh, I was sitting here rattling my brain, right? Because I'm just thinking in my own situation. I'm like, man, like all of the solutions are there. It's like all these people or this person has to do right is take the initiative right put forth the effort you know what i'm saying show that you want what you're thirsty for show that you want it like you want it not you want it so you're willing to do anything to get it no because doing anything it's not going to get it. And if it does get it for you, it's only going to be temporary. It's only going to be fleeting. Which means as fast as you shoot up is as fast as you coming down. Why? Because there's no steady foundation. It was not built on a steady foundation. Which is the word of God. Okay? It was manipulated. It was manipulated. Okay? Which means... I'm not saying exact definition. I'm just saying to me in my mind, manipulating to me means three for five of my timer, taking things out of its original order to make it fit the way you want it to fit. Okay. Um, messing with free will, basically messing with what's natural, right? Um, so I just, I, I was wondering like, why do they, like, why is their brain like the way that it is? Why, why is their life this game that they play with themselves? And like, what is it that they don't get? Like, why doesn't the wheel turn over? Like, you like, what is it, you know, like, like, you know, when you get so frustrated at somebody, you know that they're intelligent, right? But they act stupid, right? You know, that, that level of frustration, that's the level of frustration I was at, like, because I couldn't understand, like, what is wrong? Like, like, people kick against the pricks. They know, 
what the right thing is. They know that what they're doing isn't right. Why? Because the laws of God are written in our hearts already, right? Which is why a two and a three-year-old, right, can see somebody getting attacked or can see or something violent happening right in front of them, as well as feeling that, right? How do they know that it's bad? How do they know that it's painful, that it is an emotional situation? How does a baby or a child know that? Why? Because the laws of God are written on our hearts. Okay, so that's why people can really never use the excuse of, well, most of the time, use the excuse of, I didn't know, right? Or I, I basically, I didn't know, right? Why? Because the laws of God are written on your heart, okay? So back to the frustration part, right? And I'm like, what is it? And I'm watching the video. And then the ex warlock dude says, <laughs> Holy Spirit just uses him to speak through him while I'm thinking this to myself. I'm like, what is it? The absence of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Duh. The absence of the Holy Spirit. Okay. What's the verse that what Jesus said? How do you expect to understand heavenly things, right? How do you, I'm a paraphrasing here. How do you expect to understand heavenly things when you can't even understand earthly things? Do you get what I'm saying? You can't even understand earthly things, the basics, right? So there's no way that you're going to understand the metaphysical, the supernatural, okay, the spiritual. There's no way you're going to understand that. Why? Because there is no Holy Spirit residing in you. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. The only spirit of truth. So if it's not God's spirit telling you whatever info you're looking for, then it's not the truth. It can be tampered with. You can be played with. The Holy Spirit is not going to play with you. Ever. Not in that way. The Holy Spirit is not going to toy with you or lie to you. The spirit of truth cannot lie. So the reason why people, and I'm not saying this to be funny, seem so remedial, right? When you're speaking basic things to them, right? Let's not even talk spiritual, right? But when you're speaking basic things that they should understand, right? That seems so foreign to them, but they understand childish things, right? They understand petty things, toxic things, right? Why? Because that's where they live. Do you get me, right? In the absence of the Holy Spirit, there is no understanding. There is no truth and no wisdom. So what does that say? If you do not have the spirit of God residing in you, then there is no way that you will understand spiritual things, heavenly things. Right? This is why you can't even read the Bible and get you know, really any translation from it or any um, um, truth that is in depth from it because you don't have the Holy Spirit to reveal it to you. That's who reveals and opens up the Bible for you. You cannot read it in your own strength, so to speak. You cannot read it in your own strength and understand it. And you, it just doesn't work like that. You need God to do it. Just like you need God for everything else. Make sense? You need God to do it. 
You need God to understand it. You need God to gain the wisdom from it. You need God to have to gain the knowledge. And you need God to be able to combine all of those things and use them in a manner that produces power, love, and deliverance. Okay? So those of you that are frustrated thinking this, right, wondering, like, why do these people, they want this happiness, they want the the this great life, right, that they prayed for, right, that God sent them a way out, a way of escape from the life they were living. God sent them a door, which was us. Yeah, sent them a door. 11 on my timer. And they judged you by your appearance. Why? Because they didn't have the mental fortitude and the know-how to look deeper inside of a person. What did Mar uh, uh, Martin Luther King say? Okay. I had a dream that one day uh, uh, little boys and little girls will, will 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 not be judged by the by the color of their skin by the color of their skin, but the context of their character. That's what that is. Judging somebody by how they look, you might as well be judging them because they're black, because they're white, because they're Hispanic, because they're um um Asian. When you.